I told both of you, especially you, Joe, golfing isn't your thing. Stick to licking ice cream and sniffing kids, buddy. This is a grown man sport. Your IQ level can't comprehend All right, the- all right, I get it. You barely won anyway, and that's because the balls you were hitting had a magnet and somehow ended up in that hole. You weren't even hitting them straight. The last one was on the far left and then did a 90 degree turn into the hole. Shit is ridiculous. I can pick up the golf club and try to hit your balls to see if they have a magnet too. Wanna try? Then how about we play a real sport? You obviously won this time because this is all you do. But I suggest that we play soccer. I can cook both of you there with the hands tied to my back. Um, yeah, because you can't play soccer with your hands and it's called football, you idiot. Say it the right way. I was the best in high school at football, so let's run it if you guys are down. I know a football stadium in the city that is open on the weekends to the public. So let's go there and settle once and for all who's the most athletic person between us three. But I'm telling you, Obama, you can be blessed genetically however much you want but I'm always going to be better than you. Let's settle that on the football field. Golfing doesn't have anything to do with athleticism, you dumbass. You know, Barack, I'm kind of surprised you didn't choose to play basketball. What made you think that I'm good at basketball? Uh, it's because I saw that video of you shooting a three-pointer. You got a nice release on your hand, but don't panic. I can play basketball better than you also, so it wouldn't have helped you in any way. Yeah, sure, Donald. That's the reason. But to be honest, it's better for you, too, that you didn't pick basketball. I would have 360 windmill dunked it on both of you from the free throw line. Back in high school, I was the best player of basketball in my state. You were the best basketball player and football player in high school. Bro, what got you dreaming like that? You told me like a year ago how you used to get stuffed in the locker room because you used to tell everybody how you want to become a president one day. And now all of a sudden you won a Super Bowl and an NBA championship in high school. Those two have nothing to do with each other. Even though I was bullied, I still dropped everybody in every single sport. And those stories were made up so chill out. Oh, now they were made up, bro. I can't with you, piece of a... Trump, can you drive more carefully? I don't want to have Abraham Lincoln as a goalkeeper. Yeah, don't worry, Joe. That was just a wake-up call for you to get out of your head and stop lying through your teeth. How about you tell us how it was to get stuck in the 10th grade for five years straight? That's why you used to dominate in high school. Not because you were good, but because you were 20 playing 15-year-olds. Oh, this is the stadium you were talking about. As far as I remember, there was a dispute or something to erase it and build a Walmart instead, since nobody is playing football, until Messi came into the States, and then they wanted to make it a monument. Man, it would be nice to meet Messi one day. We already did, Joe. Remember that one time when we used to run a drug empire and one of our first clients was Messi? What the? Is that, is that Messi? Messi? What the fu- No way that's Messi. I gotta come closer. Um, here you have it, sir. Haha, <laughs> you who white the, powder. That really uh, is messy. Hi, sir. Um, have a good day. I'm Mr. Barack Obama. I don't think he knows who we are. I'm, I'm speechless. Just smile and start walking in the other direction. Wait, but, but I wanted an autograph or a selfie. Come on, bro. Both of you listen here carefully. What just happened right now, we will forget and we will never bring it up back again. Okay? Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I remember it now. Do you also remember what I told you? To never bring up what happened there. We were either accidentally high because of the amount of substances we handled that day, or that really was messy. And it was a completely embarrassing moment. Now let's see what is up with this stadium. Hopefully there aren't many people inside so we can have some space to play. Well, you have a bus here. It would be the last thing to have a team training on a Sunday at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. But at the end of the day, we are the presidents and we can kick them out. Yep, exactly. This is American land, therefore I own it, so they better comply, otherwise I'll send their asses in jail and also poke their ball with a knife. Wait, oh no. Boys, we forgot to bring the ball. You idiot, and I told you to bring it with you. Everyone, Messi and Ronaldo are in the stadium. Oh my, I got to go home and tell my kids about it. I just saw Ronaldo and Messi together on the soccer field. Wait, what? Did you guys hear her? And hey, bitch, it's football, not soccer. Get it right. Yo, am I tripping? Or did she just say that Messi and Ronaldo are on the field right now? I heard the same thing. Let's go and see. There is no way that we were just talking about Messi and now he's here. She must have been hallucinating or something and with Ronaldo also. Wasn't Ronaldo in the, in the stadium? Ronaldo is actually in the stadium. There is no way. Obama, tell me you're seeing the same thing as I am. And who the, is that Mbappe? And Neymar also, bro, what is going on? Are we witnessing the secret World Cup? Biden, I'm telling you that that is actually Ronaldo. I can't believe it. What is he doing in the United States? Wait, 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 who did you say you saw? Yo, I got to take a closer look and who would have thought? That lady was right. Nah, this is insane. What are we doing now, boys? Either we play them or we ask them to let us play on half of the field. I'd say to talk to them first.
Okay, remember, act normal and just don't be weird, especially you, Biden. At the end of the day, they are in our country, and this is our football field, not theirs. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be respectful. Let's ask them politely if we can play. And if any of you want, ask to take a photo with you. Ask to take a photo with me? How should I go about that? Hey, I'm the president of the United States. Do you want to take a photo with me? Or what should I say? Hey, Ronaldo, since I know you can speak English a little bit better, how is it going? I'm Mr. Donald Trump. You probably know me. Best president of the United States that has ever lived. I'm with my friends Joe Biden, actual president, and Barack Obama, former trash can. We wanted to ask maybe we can play some football together or let us have half of the field so we can... Wow, wow. Back down, old man. I don't know who you think you are to interrupt us from training like that, but me and my friends have some work to do. Could you leave now and stop disturbing us? Thanks. Who? Wait, what? I'm the... I'm the former president, Donald Trump. What do you mean you don't know who I am? And what did you call me, you piece of shit? I think there is a small misunderstanding. I'm sure your friend Messi knows who we are since he's been living in Miami for a while now. Why don't you go and ask him? We own this place, buddy. We actually own everything you see around here. Me and my friends own football, so this is our field. Now get out of here before I beat the shit out of you old three senile people. Let us train in peace. Go find another stadium to play on. Oh, so you want to play it like that? No worries. Come on, boys, let's get out of here. This idiot is about to pay for what he just said. Wow. We just got kicked out of the football field by no one else but Cristiano Ronaldo Sui. I mean, that's an achievement on its own, I guess. So do we go to grab ice cream now? Donald, can you tell me now why did we go on the highest seats and why do you have a huge sniper in your hands? What is going on, bro? Don't, don't tell me that you're going to do what I think that you're going to do. Listen, bro, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it? Did you not hear how he disrespected me on my own land, in my own country, in my home? I'm not tolerating any disrespect like that, especially from a foreigner like him. Bro just said to my face that because he's a footballer, he owns the stadium. And he called me an old man. He didn't even say shit about Joe. Because unlike you, I didn't stop him from training. The GOAT, the legend himself, said to leave the stadium, so that's what we should do. Now leave that sniper in your pocket and let's go, bro. Don't do anything dumb. Biden, please just shut up. He hates you as much as he hates us. Now let me make a phone call. I have an idea on what should we do with them and their stupid football stadium. Why did I just hear the words drones and strike? Donnie, did, did you just talk to the military? Yes, indeed, Obama. Now applying the same rule as we apply on the oil factories in other countries, and that being the saying, if I can't have it, neither you can, I will proceed to bomb this whole stadium to the point where it can't be used anymore, and every single person in it as well, including Neymar, Messi, and Mbappe, with Ronaldo, I will take the matter in my own hands and assassinate him with a bullet straight into his head. Now with that being said, get out of my country, you thug. Ah! Ah! What the bro? You're going to kill us. What are you doing? I did what I had to do. Now let's get out of here before this whole thing falls on us. Meet me at the car. I'm going to get Ronaldo's body so we can put it in the trunk. I ain't leaving him here. He's coming with us. You're a sick man, Donald. You should come and visit my therapist when you can. Tell him to come and visit me, but my schedule is kind of busy. Wait, why did you throw a grenade at that guy's feet, bro? Come on, Obama, help me. I can't shoot them all by myself. And my vision is blurry ever since Trump thought it would be a good idea to bomb the stadium with us in it. Couldn't have you waited at least until we got out. Dang it, bro, you always do some dumb shit like this. Calm down, Biden, this is nothing. Let's wipe these cops out so we can have a clear way to go. Then put him in the trunk for me, and after that, we're out. Out, and it isn't even my fault. If he was respectful enough, maybe now we would have played football together instead of doing this shit, but he chose violence, so violence he got. All right, let's go, because if we stay in the same spot, they will keep on coming. Come on. Now, no footballer will ever come into our country anymore. We just assassinated the best footballers alive. Not only that, we ruined our reputation as a country, but we ruined football, the entire sport. Nobody's going to watch it anymore because their favorite player decided to be rude to Donald Trump and got eviscerated on a chill Sunday by him. And we also didn't even get to decide who's the best athlete out of the three of us, even though it would have been the easiest thing to win versus you two. It would have been fun to watch you cry because Barack Obama won by a mile against two bitches that can't do half a push. When I was your age, I was doing push-ups with the Empire State Building on my back. So quit talking. Focus on finding a route to escape the police and guide me because they keep on appearing in my face like they spawn out of thin air. Hey, Trump, do you mind going back on the right side of the road and not drive on the opposite one anymore? Thank you. I would like to get home tonight and hug my wife instead of hugging Cristiano Ronaldo, telling him that I tried stopping you from bombing the stadium. Now, with that being said, am I tripping or do I hear knocking in the trunk?
Are you sure you shot him in the head and that you didn't miss the target completely? It's okay, Joe. Just make sure that the first thing you do when you get home is not to hug your wife, but to take your pills. And Trump, I told you to try and go on the mountain. But by that, I meant to take the road like a normal person, not to go off-road and climb it like we are in a monster truck. I don't know how good is this car for off-roading. Don't you see? This beast was made for everything and anything. Now that police cars can't get to us anymore, let's greed the helicopters using the obama Minator. I'm sure they will love it. After that, we should be good and off the radar. Hey, boys, quick question. Um, why, why are we on a mountain? I thought we were about to go and play soccer to see who's the best at it. And why did we end up with police after us? Did we steal a golf club by mistake? And dang, Trump, your aim is awful. I told you that we should give him ice cream from time to time when he's craving for it. Now he just reset his brain to the last file saving Biden. You'll hear it on the radio or you'll see on TV what happened. Unfortunate news in the football world, legend Cristiano Ronaldo was announced missing after he had a training session in Los Angeles with the sports stars Lionel Messi, Neymar, Wait, bro, and Mbappe. At around 1 p.m. today, it was said that a foreign airstrike took place at the stadium they were training, leaving the ones in it severely injured. Somehow authorities say that... What did this idiot do? I was trying to hear what he was saying on the radio. Did you hear that? Ronaldo went missing and Messi was airstriked. What? We need to find the ones who did this. I'm sorry, boys, but I had to somehow get rid of the body. And to answer your questions, Biden, if you're trying to find Ronaldo, then you are free to dive in that water and get him out. And about the ones who did it, go look in the mirror and you can solve that as well. But shit, I didn't expect that water to be that cold. You could have at least warned us or something that you were about to jump in the lake. Oh my, now another presidential car got wasted, great bro. I, I still don't get it.